welcome back. So I have Misty here and we're just gonna do a quick seven all over on her. Nothing fancy. I've got my Artero seven on. Um, and we're just gonna knock off some hair real quick. But I have been a little MIA on YouTube and the channel stays steady growing. And I feel guilty that I have not been uploading as much as I once was. There was some while there that I was uploading pretty regular. Um, but I've been slack. Had some life stuff going on. I mentioned in a previous video that the guy I've been dating for six years and I, we broke up. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go into too much details about what's going on with my love life right now. It'll come out this time, but, uh, yeah. Just, just out here living my best life, you guys. <laughs> Taking it one day at a time. I'm getting back up on my horse. So, okay, here's the thing. I, in my last relationship, really lost a lot of my self-confidence. Um, and it kind of took me becoming single again to realize uh, how much my confidence had been affected. Uh, I don't know. I, I, there's, I don't want to sit here and like bash my ex as like a person. Like it's not really even about that. But at the end of the day, we just were not right for each other. Um, and like, you know, it, it's been a little bit at this point. It's like we really started to break up in like April and I would say by May things were like fully done uh, and then we just, we don't talk anymore. Well, I'm the type, I've always been the type that like when I'm done with somebody, I'm done with somebody. Like, you know, we're not gonna start talking like a week or a month later or whatever. Like when I'm done, I'm done. Um, so anyway, it's been an adjustment still brand new in business. I haven't even been up and running for six months. I got my van April 1st. So, uh, anyway, I haven't even been going that. It's been like three months, something like that. So still learning the flow of the van. I, you know, I hired my ex for a while. I hired, um, my, uh, sister for a little bit. That didn't work out. Uh, so now it's just me, so it's just been readjusting again to it just being me. Sorry, I know that this makes it harder to where you guys can see. Let me see what I can do though. Let me see what I can do. I tried to put you up on this um, mount thing. I had it so good the one day that we did that schnauzer, you remember? It was a good day that day. I'm gonna try to do this without ending my Okay, and <laughs> I ended it anyway, of course. Um, watch out, Stevie. Watch out, I don't wanna, she's got this like really terrier type of hair. There's Stevie right there. She comes with me every day, but anyway, I don't want her getting covered in this like really, um, you know, that hair that's like really bad. About like the hair splinters, the terrier type. Ugh, I hate it. So anyway, I'm gonna take this. Kind of gently hold around her mouth. Y'all know how these little ones have all these dental issues. Okay, I'm gonna just take it. I've got a 10 on the uh, five in one clipper right now. You could do like a 10 or sometimes I'll do a 15 on the five in one clipper, and it's still, it doesn't look, it depends on the hair type. On some hair types, it would like be awful, so you just gotta kind of test it out. Like her, the 10 is going to be sufficient. She's got this like weird hair. Just trying to make her smooth. But yeah, so anyway, that's, that's really been the main thing I've been doing. Still adjusting to being a business owner. It is different. It's a lot different. 
um, I'm kind of learning as I go, like, um, like at first I was messaging people back, like whenever, like even if it was like I was off work or whatever, I, I really am getting better about that. Um, I just, uh, I, I need to take time off just like everybody else. And, you know, I mean, I got messages like on the holiday and, you know, I really, like when I'm off work, I really want to be like off work just like anybody else in their regular job, you know, you're at home, you're not typically working. And I know as a business owner, it is different, but at the same time, I am a human still. So, you know, I need to um, have my time off for that reason. I'm not invincible. <laughs> All right, let me work on this head a little bit. I don't really know what to do with it because he said he liked all this stuff up here. So I kind of want to just spray it up. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm spraying it up. this stuff around your face, see if there's anything maybe around your mouth I might trim up a little bit because uh, that stuff gets nasty. A lot of these little guys eat wet food. So I'm literally just going to cut like right here. These are just some six inch curves. <clears throat> Use whatever brand you like. These are by Fresh Groom. If you want to use what I'm using, I'm pretty affordable. Um, I uh, do. I want to get like some mitsumis and stuff, and I will. Like that is something that will happen. Um, let me get this. Hello. But I do like the fact that like if these got knocked on the floor right now, they'd be so easy and cheap to replace. Whereas like if Utsumi's get knocked on the floor, you would be crying. Right? You're crying. Oh. Oh. You don't have any chin hair to hold on to, so I feel like I'm just giving you the chokehold, but you know. Do what you gotta do. Okay, so keeping this on seven. Oh, let me check her ears. Yeah, her ears are good. I've heard that if you like clean ears that like don't have anything clean that sometimes you can cause a problem. So I don't like if they don't have anything in there I look in it's like clean and beautiful then I don't bother cleaning the ears. Uh, okay. See sanitary trim. Come here. So I'm just keeping it on time. I'm just gonna hit this belly. Pick it up. Alright, come here. Come here, yeah. I'm gonna hit around this little tail area. Between here. She's one of those that like really doesn't even grow hair on her belly. So I'm not gonna do much there. This is the, um, <laughs> the same length that I was using. I'm actually going to take it a little bit on the side here too, just to blend that in. Just because the seven doesn't want to pick up these like little tiny hairs. Okay, now I'm going to actually just get like a really simple slicker brush this fucking like old ass slicker brush I have and I'm going to there we go. I know you want to sit. I'm about to put you up in the hammock and you can just hang but for now I need you to stand. I'm just gonna these little hairs on the side here. You could go in reverse if you wanted to. Um, I don't know. 
up. I don't want to, so I'm not going to, but do what you wish. Side. Make sure you're nice and naked. <laughs> but yeah, so that's basically all I've been doing. I got Stevie. She takes up a lot of my time. I've been just trying to go out more. I realized like with my ex, I really, he needed going out. And I got to a point where I thought I hated it too, but like now that I'm like going out again, I like realize like I don't think I ever hated going out. I think I was just trying to like, I don't know, keep him happy. I mean, I wasn't going to go out by myself. I like to go out with like the guy I'm dating, you know what I mean? Especially because like I can't, I feel like I can't go anywhere sometime without some weird person coming up and trying to talk to me or hit on me. <laughs> it's always like the weirdest of the weird people too. I don't like, you know, I don't like, this is like, so like, I was just thinking about this the other night, like, if you are a single girl, right, and you turn a guy down, like, you're a dick if you don't have a boyfriend, like, then you're just, uh, you're pretentious, you're stuck up, I've, I've heard it all, but, like, the second you say you have a boyfriend, like, guys will leave you alone, and why can't you just leave me alone because I'm not interested, you know what I mean, so just wait, anyway. So, um, I'm going to stand her up so I can get all this wiry hair off the table before I get it all cooked into my skin. Okay. All right. I really wish I, if I had some like colored hairspray or something, I definitely would have done that on her, but I can't get this shit to stand up. Now it's too soft. I don't want to spray it too much and make it crunchy. <laughs> we don't like crunchy. Right? Very cute. No. Probably should have put her in the little hound hammock, but that's okay. This big one kind of swallows her. But that's the one I grabbed, so this one we're going to use. Get all your feet in there. And then I might have to put her in the tiny one. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Take your head out of that one. Okay, ready? You gotta keep your head in that one. <laughs> Put your head through there. Okay. I'll move you guys for this. Well, actually, that's like not the worst angle. I'm actually just gonna take um. Take this like smaller thing and kind of wrap it. I'll show you in a second. Just because she's got like such a tiny little neck and she's gonna pop her head out of there, I can already tell. Sometimes you just get a vibe. See, I like put it around like this so that way she can't pop her little head through there. So, see, there's plenty of room she can breathe. Sorry, I, I don't know if that got messed up. I, you know, the little bot that comes on your phone, S-I-R-I, -I. she thought I said something that sounded enough like her name. Okay, anyway, so I'm just gonna get her up here. I always do paw pads first. Um, Cause it gives you an idea, especially if you've never groomed a dog before, which I have groomed these before, but if you hadn't, it's gonna give you an idea of like what they're gonna be like for their nails. So you can see she's really not wiggling or anything for her paw pads. So she's probably gonna be pretty good for her nails. Well, I know she is, but let me show you. <laughs> this will be our demo. So you can see she's really, like she's not pulling her foot away or anything. And normally they at least pull their foot away. Like your average dog's gonna try to pull away. But she's not even doing that. She's just chilling. Okay. So now we're gonna the trimmel.
I love these like quick little easy haircuts like this. So nice. I could do these all day. Good girl. So you can see she really is a good girl. Thing I hated the most. Like I used to dread doing a nail trim. She does have declaws. I'm gonna flip her around to get that other side because she's just so small. It's harder for me to get it. Sometimes I have to switch up the angle for how I'm holding them just depending on them and their body shape and all that. Check, make sure nothing's poking out weird. Looks good. Sometimes if there are like a little hairs to trim around their feet, I will do that. Doesn't look like she really has any. of a demo. I mean, not really doing anything that special. I just do seven on the body, ten under the neck and stuff. These hairs, especially on these dogs, are so hard to pick up with, like the big flipper. So, that's why I like just do the ten under there. Alright, let's see what we got. I'm going to give her a Batman. I'm going to give her the one that Stevie's wearing. I've really been liking these. See? Cute. And then, come here, Neil. Okay, there you go. So she may be one of those that, like, once you take her off the loop, she does better. She's got one of these little collars that we slipped off. All right. Let's get her away. So you can see. So there she is. Nothing special. Just a quick seven all over. Um, with her little, they didn't really, he didn't want anything off of her head. He just was like, he, he just, he said he liked this. He was like, I used to think it was so ugly and now I like it, but she's cute. So anyway, that's it. A little quick catch up haircut video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Bye.